Incredibly, this is not the end of the story. State prosecutors allege that even from behind prison walls, Tracy has orchestrated an internet campaign of personal defamation and witness tampering so threatening that some key witnesses declined to participate in this documentary. The campaign is directed toward both her ex-husbands and those who testified against her at trial. Magically, a website appears, which I first heard about from some patients calling, say, hey, you know what they're saying about you on the web? I'm looking at this, and it's completely made up. I was one of the best top of the country, and me and a guy in Beverly Hills had the highest booking rate of all of them. And I went from that to nothing. Here we have a guy who has gotten to be a colonel in plastic surgery at Walter Reed Hospital, repairing our most injured soldiers. She attacks him, causing his economic livelihood to evaporate. This is retribution for his testifying at her trial. Despite the fact that Tracy's behind bars, she has still managed to harass and intimidate the state's witnesses in hopes that she can pressure them into recanting their testimony. She doesn't seem to care if and how she hurts the individuals around her and doesn't seem to show any signs of stopping despite being incarcerated. Sometimes you have such a mean, vicious, angry person who will destroy everything in their path Tracy Richter is the classic crocodile who is a reptilian, is cold-blooded, kill, maim, injure anyone in her way to achieve her goals.